What is going on everybody? This is Kevin with Arnold Prince, the channel that helps your business grow. Today we have basically the laser engraver. We're going to clean it down. This thing is super dirty and we got to get this thing clean. So let's show you how. All right guys, so here it is. Here's the laser engraver, super dirty. If I touch it here, you're gonna see just probably like black soot come off. You know, you can see a little bit on the fingers there. So this thing's gotta be cleaned, you know, black soot like that. So when you get that kind of stuff, it affects your power and the way that this thing etches. So we're gonna clean basically the lens. One, make sure it's, you know, intact and that this thing actually is going to work right. And then we're gonna check all our mirrors. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this is done. So you need a few things, paper towels, uh, acetone. Uh, we use a little bit of degreaser on some of these items too. And then the actual lens itself, you want isopropyl alcohol. So only use that on the lens. The mirrors are a little bit more robust and you can use different things on those as far as like window cleaner and uh, alcohol on those as well. The main thing is you just don't want to film on it. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and glove up and show you how it's done. All right, so first things first, we got some gloves. We got some basically swabs here. So these are basically cotton swabs. They're non-abrasive and then you're going to need a paper towel. So we're going to start deconstructing this unit here. So follow me on how we get it done. All right, so what you see here is basically the nozzle. So this is where the beam shoots out of, passes through a set of mirrors, shoots through here, and then down into the lens. So what we gotta do is basically there's a nut on here, and this nut is gonna basically slide off. You're just gonna take it off like this. This is gonna drop down the housing. So as you see, it's basically sliding out. Okay, so it's now out of the housing. So the lens is inside of here. So what you can do is basically just take the nut off, deconstruct it, okay? Then you have a few different items on here. You have basically the laser pointer, uh, which is like a little bent here. And then you have basically an air tube for the air assist. So this pulls out. This is basically a push down washer that locks into it. There's little like sort of metal teeth in there. So go ahead and take that off. Uh, what you can do too is if you have an Allen key, you can actually take the laser off if needed. Okay, so that's what you have here. You can see this kind of rotates and floats. Uh, so the next thing we got to do is basically get this next ring loose from here. So you want to grab a hole and see if you can loosen it. There we go. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and turn it. I had to move the laser pointer out of the way. Turn it, we'll take the lens out. Just be very careful. It's always good to have something underneath too, just in case. All right, so that is out. Now, I already can see. Now, if you can see this inside of here, there is all kinds of what I refer to as crap. So little particles in there, and it's actually, potentially even metal that it might have chipped off from the inside of here, but there's little particles that you can see in here, which I'll see if you can get a little closer. You see those particles? They're gonna fall right out into my hand. So with those little particles, was some kind of breakdown of, of something. Okay, so that stuff alone will decrease the life and the workability of your lens. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. There's another little cylinder on top of here. So this basically pushes the uh, lens down. So this just comes off. So we're gonna take this off. And those little shards almost look like pieces of this. So I think maybe whenever uh, we were firing off or maybe even adjusting the lens, we could have had some breakdown. So I'm looking at the lens, it doesn't look that bad. You can kind of see it's a little shiny here, okay? There's still some grit in there. So, I mean, we still got tons of grit, guys. So what we're gonna do is basically take this out, okay? And this basically has a convex sort of cave down on the bottom part. So we're always gonna keep eye contact on what's the bottom. So I'm gonna put this over on a paper towel, okay? And then we'll get to cleaning the outside of the unit before we do the lens. So paper towel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this lens down so I know where it goes. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is basically clean the housing. So I'm gonna grab some acetone 
and we're just gonna basically just wipe all around the housing just try to get off some of that soot you'll see there's a bunch of black that's gonna come off what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna have to realign our laser and everything too when we're done with this because we did you know mess with it so it's gonna be you know kind of off kilter but uh, yeah basically just kind of wipe around I mean, there's tons of black coming off as you can see so we're just gonna kind of wipe around the unit like so this is just kind of a we'll call it a gross wipe because we're just you know wiping the large areas and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a cotton swab I'm gonna put some isopropyl on it and just start wiping around inside of that tube cylinder so this is isopropyl alcohol nothing crazy guys 70 percent um, you know that's what we're looking at all right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna kind of hit all these parts you know inside because obviously there's some little chips going out gonna pull it through and we're going to give this time to basically burn off or basically dry our mirror is inside of here so we're going to end up taking a look at that which i'm sure the mirror is probably a disaster as well yeah so these are things that basically you got to do every so often you know, to realign everything. So we're looking at these. Let's go ahead and tighten that back up where it was. All right, so we got all that done. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the little soot out of here. Okay, so you see all this? This is all the soot that's coming out of there. So we still got this little, little unit here, which I'm gonna feed through there. And then go ahead and wipe this stuff off. This is pretty clean. Now the outside here, there's all kinds of grit going around here, and I can actually see it. So what a lot of people do is they'll actually take a uh, little sandpaper, and they'll basically like sand this down, then they'll go and rework it. But you definitely want to get all up inside of here. Inside of there is where you hold a lot of grit too if it passes that lens. So get that out of there. You want all the dirt out of this thing as much as you possibly can. All the dirt, all the grit. You want it gone. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll rewipe this down. And it's actually smoothing out a little bit. Okay, so now this piece has pretty much been cleaned for the most part. Blow it out, take an air compressor, air gun to it. But that's what we're looking at, guys. So we got this little piece here. Go ahead and wipe down the other units. As much as you can. All right. So now on to the lens. Go ahead and close this. So that's the lens. We're going to get a clean swab. Get some more isopropyl. So alcohol. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of support it a little bit with a buffer here just in case. And just wipe the lens down. So I'm actually wiping this lens down and it's, it's cleaning up really well. So it's still very shiny. What you're looking for is any kind of breakdown on the coatings on this thing. So there's no breakdown, so this lens is still good. Yeah, you know, I was afraid this lens was gonna be bad and have problems, but it actually looks pretty good. Okay. Go ahead and dust it off. You know, the other thing too is if your machine is super dirty, you might even want to change your gloves before you get into this. Other than that, that's done. All right, so now that the lens is done, we got it nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and just give it another little whirl here. 
and hit it with another cotton cloth. Just get it fully clean. Now this thing is spotless. All right. So we're going to go basically bottom down. And what you're going to do is put this part in here, bottom down, into your nozzle. So you got to get the edges. They'll basically fall in. The hard part is getting it to fall in even. And you can just give it a little shake if need be. Then the top colander basically goes in. So you have this here. You can see the lens in there. This top colander is going to go in. And this is actually what holds it in place. All right. So you want to tighten it down. Not super hard because you don't want to crush your lens. But you don't want to hear it rattle. So now it's in there. And then basically you're just going to reverse order. Or reassemble. So this bottom part is going to feed into here. Before I do it, I'm just going to give it another wipe down. Make sure everything's dry and clean. One last wipe. Okay, looks good. Now go ahead and install the nozzle. So this is the tough part. You've got to get the threads to kind of line up right. So we're lined up. And we're on. Okay, nice and tight. Now this little part here, you can see you basically have a stem. So this stem is going to basically feed up into the other stem. Make sure that you have your lock washer on first, then feed up into the stem. So this is now in the stem, and I'm just going to secure the nut like so. Nice and tight. So we're back on. The last thing to do is to basically rearrange the orientation, which the laser pointer was on the back. It was tilted down a little bit, which we're going to have to readjust the laser pointer anyways. So you have your air line. Your air line has to be reconnected. So again, it's just a push connector. Push it in and just give it a little tug. It's all secure. And that's how you clean your nozzle and clean your convex lens or if you have a meniscus lens that's how you do it so this is exactly how you clean it the next thing you want to do is we're going to have to look in through here and see if there's any dirt and debris in there and then basically we can isopropyl alcohol it or we can even use a basically like an acetone sort of window cleaner and try to get any debris out of there so now we have a clean path we have a couple more mirrors to assess but that's how you clean the nozzle guys and that's it guys the nozzle's clean so I hope that was helpful. That's exactly how you clean a nozzle on a, this is a 50 watt laser. It's basically a China laser, a blue and white is what we call it. And it's about the same process for any kind of laser that you have. So just take the nozzle off, make sure you clean everything, make sure you keep that lens intact. If it's damaged, you know, don't start shooting stuff through it. But as you saw, I had all those little particles in there that was disrupting my laser beam, which was creating a horrible cut. Sometimes it's debris that just floated back in through and fell down into the lens. And we also have to assess our mirrors. So until next time, guys, this is Kevin with Arnold Prince, the channel that helps your business grow. Peace.